Well, it has been called the greatest American race, and Sunday's Daytona 500 is sure to bring big fun. Joining me right now is four-time NASCAR Cup Series champ and Fox TV analyst Jeff Gordon, along with former NASCAR Cup Series champ Kevin Harvick. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Thank Good morning. You. So, Jeff, you are a three-time Daytona 500 winner. Uh, what, what do you, how are you feeling ahead of Sunday? What can fans expect from racing this year from your standpoint? Well, I'm extremely excited about the 2017 season, especially the Daytona 500. We've already seen some amazing racing. Kevin and, and uh, the other competitors out there have just been really showing some, some, some great action on the track. The cars are a little bit tough uh, as far as grip and, and handling, so they've got their hands full. All that's just going to make a great race for, for all the fans and certainly for us up in the booth calling this race, as well as the changes to the format this year. I think it's going to make it a really uh, exciting is how the strategy plays out and how this challenges the drivers throughout the entire race uh, for 500 miles on Sunday. Yeah, I want, I want to ask you about the changes to the car, but, but first, Kevin, add on to that. This is the first race where fans are going to see this new format. Explain the point system and, and that, that will be in place and how you have to change your strategy this season. Well, it's definitely going to change the strategy, and I think that the, the piece that's going to be the hardest of, of that part is, is on the crew chiefs, just because of the way that the race is broke up into three different segments. You're going to have uh, three segments, and, and each at the end of each segment, there will be points that are accumulated for your season total, and also bonus points that, that go towards the end of the year for our playoffs. So uh, as a competitor and, and team, it's very important that you collect as many points as you can. So in theory, that's supposed to make the racing better. I don't know how that you can do that uh, based upon what we had last night in the in the qualifying races, but it's going to make things very intense. Uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure on on the competitors, the drivers, the crew chiefs uh, to go out and get everything that they can. So yeah. uh, I think they've done a great job, and, and looking forward to how it all shakes out. Well, Jeff, obviously people are missing you on the road there. Well, what, what's your take in terms of the cars? How are they different? Well, not a lot is different for Daytona. Uh, pretty similar uh, rules, and we, we saw some great racing. We saw the closest finish in Daytona 500 history last year. Uh, I don't know how we're going to top that, but we've certainly seen a lot more passing and action and, and, and the way the cars are driving. And now you add in the format changes where we're going to you know, in, uh, have a caution at stage one, and we're going to slow everything down, get pit stops made, and then go back to racing. Double file restarts are always incredible here at Daytona. So, you know, these these stages are now just going to intensify everything that goes on. Once we leave here, Daytona, we've got a lot less down for us to watch these drivers really have their hands full, sliding the cars into the corner 190, 200 miles per hour. So um, between format and car uh, you know, lack of downforce in the rest of the season, I, I think we're really set to see one of the best seasons in NASCAR history. Incredible. What, what do you make of Dale Earnhardt Jr. coming back to racing? You, you were racing his car last season while he recovered from a concussion. What, what, what's your expectations? Will he come out strong today? Well, he certainly looked strong last night in the duel. He led all the way up until the final lap, and so it, it looked like Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, of all. But, you know, I just I see this as like a, a new and improved Dale Earnhardt Jr. He just seems refreshed, excited to be back in the car. He's healthy. He's married. Uh, you know, I, I think, um, you know, it is not, not – I think all the competitors, certainly us up in the booth and a lot of fans are really happy to have him back. Yeah, any thoughts on why ratings have dropped? I mean, we were talking with John Hilsenrath from the Wall Street Journal earlier who made the point that, that viewership is down in the last 10 years. Kevin. Well, I, I think when you look at sports in general, I think obviously there's a challenge landscape of, of every, everywhere across the board. I think whether it's the NFL, uh, NHL, NBA, I think everything yeah, is, is challenged. But I think, I, I think as, you, as you look at our sport, I think Daytona is a great example of, of trying to build something different. Uh, we have a brand new beautiful stadium here at the Daytona International Speedway that's uh, got a much different experience than, than a lot of places we go, uh, investing in, in Phoenix next. So I think there's a, there's a different... There's a different fan. There's a, this is a social event, and it needs to be very social friendly to, to have a good time in the grandstands. As we go to sporting events nowadays, you see a lot of empty seats and a lot of things um, that are different to try to keep these fans entertained. So yeah, I think for us, point. I think our sport is doing a great job to reinvest. Everybody, everybody's dealing with the same thing in terms of sports uh, and getting people in the seats. People are watching it on their phones or, or wherever else. We'll be watching. Jeff Gordon, Kevin Harvick, thanks so much. And Thank we'll be you. right back.